Bonjour and bienvenue. Good morning and welcome. It is an honor to join you today as we kick off Le Berger, the much anticipated marquee aviation event of 2015. This is not my first air show, but of course this year marks the first one I attend as part of the Bombardier team. In fact, I'm part of a new commercial aircraft team that is complementing the existing talent at Bombardier <coughs> with a new mindset and a new vision. A passionate leadership team with a clear goal to provide a portfolio of aircraft that will push our customers to differentiate themselves and generate value. Today we are here to celebrate the first 100% newly designed single aisle aircraft to make its debut at Louberge in almost 30 years. This week you will see for yourselves why the C-Series is turning heads, has captured the world's attention when the CS300 opens the air show flying display daily at 1.30. But before we do that, I want to acknowledge the visionaries at Bombardier who have been with the C-Series aircraft program since its inception and deserve recognition for their accomplishments in bringing the C-Series to market. Francois Caza, Vice President, Product Development and Chief Engineer, Aerospace. His team has led the design and the flight testing of Bombardier aircraft, including those on static display and including our new C-Series family of aircraft. Jean Seguin, President, Aerostructures and Engineering Services. His team brings together all the parts and components from around the world to build from the blueprint. I will add his team also builds components on some of the other OEM aircraft you will see here this week at the show. And of course, Rob Dewar, Vice President, C-Series. <laughs> Rob really doesn't need an introduction. You're familiar with Rob as the program leader responsible for development of the overall C-Series program. Congratulations to the whole Bombardier team on this great achievement. <laughs> I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce a new member of our team, Colin Bowl, Senior Vice President of Sales. You'll soon become very familiar with Colin as his team looks to capture the many opportunities that Ross will speak about when he gives the overview of the market forecast. Now to tell you more about the opportunities we expect over the next 20 years, I hand it off to Ross Mitchell, Vice President, Business Acquisition. Thank you, Fred. I have the pleasure to uh, show you now our market forecast. I know you're all excited to get out to see the aircraft, so I'm uh, the appetizer to the entree. So um, the commercial aircraft market is profitable and continues to witness significant growth. As an industry, we are evolving to manage volatile fuel prices and increased competition. Our key market drivers suggest that there is strong growth ahead. There are several macroeconomic factors, regulatory factors, and technological factors that propel that growth. You will see oil prices, economic growth, emerging markets, changes in scope clauses, environmental regulations, but above all, technological change, of which we're at the forefront. In terms of the competitive landscape, this is how we view it. You see our aircraft there in colors. The Q400 covers the turboprop market from 60 to 99 seats. In the regional jet sector, we have our CRJ family, the only true regional aircraft family left in the market, covering from 60 seats all the way to 100 seats with the three members of the family. And from 100 to 150 seats, our all new C-Series with the CS100 and CS300, which bring all of the advantages of the new technology, bringing you better economics and a better environmental footprint from 100 seats all the way to 160 seats. Our forecast shows robust growth. So you'll see two charts here. The one on the left is in respect of the 60 to 100 seat market, which is served by our Q400 and our CRJ family. You'll see there 5,700 units over the next 20 years. So quite a large market for us to go and, and take our market share. And on the right-hand side, you'll see the C-Series market with 7,000 units 
a very strong market, and we are well positioned to take a large share of that market with our aircraft. In terms of revenues, you'll see that the revenues are large and growing. The bulk of the revenues in that market are for the aircraft in the C-Series size. Principally, that's because the aircraft are more expensive as being larger aircraft, and they are, it's a bigger market at 7,000 units. You'll also see there that the, the Q400 and the CRJ roughly split the regional market. In terms of the geographic distribution for the Q400 and the CRJ families, you'll see that North America still leads the way with 1,700 units. Europe is second, and Greater China is closing the gap. So you'll see it's a strong market with a good geographic diversified base. On the 100 to 150 seat market, again you'll see that North America leads the growth, but Greater China takes a larger share of the market in, in this specific segment. It's a very important growing market that we're involved in. Europe again is very important with 1,100 units, and that's why we brought the aircraft here to Paris to show everybody. The three models we have, the, Q, the Q series, the CRJ series, and the C series, leave us well positioned to capture large shares in both of the markets we've just described with new technology, with the right aircraft, with the right economics, well positioned, we see a very bright future. And with that, I'll hand it over to Isabel.